This is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do the leaf hopper stitch. I'm going to be using a 4 millimeter hook and some cotton yarn size 3. So we're going to start with a slip knot. And for the stitch, you want to start with a foundation chain that's a multiple of 4 plus 3. So I'm going to do 12 plus 3, which is 15. And this is my foundation chain of 15. For row 1, we're going to skip the first 3 chains. And onto the 4th, you're going to do 1 double crochet. So that chain three you skip does count as a stitch. And now you're gonna double crochet all the way down to finish row one. So this will be just a row of double crochets. And this is the end of row one. For row two, you wanna start by chaining three, which counts as a stitch. So one, two, three. And now you're gonna flip your work. You're gonna skip that first stitch because you already have that chain three for it. On the second one, you're going to do a double crochet. And now we're going to work our first leaf, leaf hopper cluster. This is a really fun one, so I'm going to explain it really slowly. Essentially, you are, you're working this next stitch. Right now, it's your third stitch, right? But for it, you're going to start by going into the pillar of the second stitch. So this one here. So we're gonna yarn over, and rather than working into the stitch that you're currently on, you're gonna go behind the pillar of the double crochet, beneath this double crochet you just did. So I'm gonna go behind it, like this. And now I'm gonna grab my yarn and pull it through the back of that pillar. I'm gonna pull it up, so that it matches the height of the double crochet that I just made. And I'm gonna do that one more time. I'm gonna yarn over, go behind the pillar, grab my yarn and pull it through upwards. So currently I have five loops on my hook. I'm gonna yarn over and pull through four of them and stop. So now we're gonna do the same but we're going to skip this stitch. We're gonna go into the next one to do the same thing. You're gonna yarn over and not into the pillar of the next stitch, but the one after. You're gonna go behind it, grab your yarn and pull it through, pull it upwards. Do that again, go behind the pillar Grab my yarn and pull it upwards. Now I'm gonna have six loops on my hook. I'm gonna yarn over and pull through four. Three loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through all three. And I wanna take some time explaining this a little bit further. So this is your first leaf hopper cluster. Essentially, you're still creating just one stitch, which is for that middle one that you skipped but you worked it in the one before and after. But you still just create one stitch. And so moving forward, uh, the next thing you wanna do is do three double crochets into the next three stitches. But remember, since you're on your count, you're still on this stitch, you're gonna work the first double crochet into where you have the second leaf hopper cluster. So if you turn your work, let me actually just show you before I do it. You see you worked two leaf hopper clusters in the stitch in the middle. So on your fourth stitch, which is this one, where the second leaf hopper cluster is coming out of, that's where you're gonna work your double crochets. So let's do that. It's easier if you flip your work to see it. So let's do double crochet into Technically, what is the fourth stitch right now for me? And it'll be behind the second leaf hopper cluster that you worked. So that's one double crochet, two double crochet, three double crochet. And I'm gonna do another leaf hopper cluster now. So I'm gonna yarn over and go behind the post of the double crochet that's right under the one that I just did. So this one. Pull up my yarn and pull it tall. 
and do that again. So I have five loops in my hook, yarn over, pull through four. Now I'm going to skip the next post and on to the next one, yarn over, go behind it, grab my yarn and pull it up, pull it tall, do that again. Now I have six loops in my hook, I'm going to yarn over and pull through four. Three loops in my hook, yarn over, pull through all three. And that is my second leaf hopper cluster. So now that's the repetition. I'm gonna do three double crochets now. And remember the first one goes behind, like it's the stitch behind this leaf hopper cluster. So I gotta go find that. It's this one here. So three double crochets. We've got one, two, and three. And this will be my last leaf hopper cluster of my row. I'm going to yarn over and go behind the post of the double crochet under the one I just made. Behind it, grab my yarn, pull it up and pull it tall. Yarn over, behind it, pull it up and pull it tall. Five loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through only four. And I'm going to do that again, but I'm going to skip one double, uh, I'm going to skip the post of the, of the next stitch and onto the one after, go behind it, pull my yarn, pull it up, do it again. Six loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through four, three loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through all three. And now we're going to do the last two double crochets. So remembering going in the back of the stitch in the back of the leap, leaf hopper cluster you just made. That's where you want to do that first double crochet. And now since that chain three does count as a stitch, you're going to go at the top of the chain to do your last double crochet. So at the very end of your work, you're just going to do two total double crochets. And there you have it. That's the end of row two. Row three is simple. We're going to start with a chain three. Flip your work, and this chain three does count as a stitch, so you're just gonna skip that first stitch, and onto the second, you're gonna do a double crochet. And now, along all of this row, you're just gonna do double crochets from beginning to end. And this is the last bit. Remember that the chain three does count as a stitch, so you gotta do a double crochet into the top of that chain. And this is the end of row three. For row four, you're going to chain three and flip your work. You're going to skip that first stitch and you're gonna do one double crochet into the next three stitches. And just so you know, I have 500 other stitches coming your way in 2024, so make sure to subscribe to not miss out. Now we're gonna work a leaf hopper cluster um, essentially you're doing that because you want them to be kind of in between each other. So on my second row, I made three and now the ones on row four are going to go in between the ones that I made on row four. So we're going to do a leaf hopper cluster. Uh, remember you go behind the pillar of the double crochet that's underneath the one you just made. So you're going to go behind it and pull up a loop, pull it tall. Yarn over and do it again. Five loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through four. Now I'm going to skip the next double crochet and on to the next, I'm going to do the same thing. Six loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through four. Three loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through three. And now you're going to do three double crochets, remembering to going behind the leaf hopper cluster you just made for the first one. So that's one, two, and three. And now I'm gonna work another leaf hopper cluster. 
by going behind the pillar of the double crochet that I just made. You pull it up, yarn over, pull up. Now skip the next one and on to the next, do another leaf hopper cluster. Pull through four, pull through three. All right. And because of my stitch count, I'm at the end of, very close to the end of my row. So I'm gonna finish this row with four double crochets. So I'm gonna go behind this leaf hopper cluster I just did, one double crochet, and I have three stitches left. So we're gonna go one double crochet, two double crochets, and the last one will be on top of the chaining of the, the turning chain. And now we're gonna do our fourth double crochet to finish row four. Row five is gonna be as row three. After that, you're gonna do row repetitions from two to five. And essentially, it's gonna give you something that looks just like this. Really gorgeous, beautiful texture. It adds these like little leaves in your work. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. I have 500 other videos coming your way in 2024, so don't miss out.